I'm gonna show you how I organize my modules. This is a video that you guys asked for, so I'm so excited that I get to show you this. I used to organize my modules by week, but I noticed that there was some complications in terms of like flexibility. I'm gonna show you what I decided to do instead, and it worked out so much better in the end. I really quickly just wanted to add that if you have a specific way of organizing your modules that works for you, you should keep doing it that way. I'm just gonna show you a way that worked for me in my subject of science, but if that organization style does not fit your subject or maybe your grade level, then you need to decide, of course, what works best for you. What I'm gonna show you to start is how to organize by week and kind of why that didn't end up working out for me. Okay, so to start, I'm just gonna add a module and we are going to go by week. So how I would write my title is I would do week one and then I would write the date right after. That's how I would write my titles originally. And then what I would do is everything in my module. So let's say we have a page that is a lesson overview page. I would label that W1 and then lesson overview. Now the reason why I add that mark you see right here, the W1 for week one is because I wanted students to be able to identify what assignment, what page we were on as we kept going. So that way, if they're missing an assignment, I would say, which week is it? And they'd be like, oh, it's W2, week two. And then that way they could go back, easily identify that way. That is how I organize. I still kind of organize my content that way, but again, I'll show you that in a little bit. Another thing that I forgot to add here is I would add titles. So right up here, adding the plus button, you can go to text header and type in whatever you want. So a lot of the time I would do like Monday and then I would put the date in here. Students would know, okay, this is what we're doing today, Monday. And this was a great system. It worked for me for a while, but again, as I kept teaching, I started to realize, okay, like this is creating more work for me. And then two, let's say if we had an activity that I labeled week one and I had a second module for week two, so let me just type that in. So we have week two down here. Let's say I need to carry over the assignment. I would just kind of, and this is, again, this is kind of like a me thing, but I hated when I would like go, okay, we're working on this activity from last week. Do I move it? Do I leave it and have the students go back to it? Do I pull it over into week two? Do I label it week two? That was the thing for me that made me switch up my organization style. Let me show you what that looks like, which is the new way I organize my modules. This is my science course that I created for my eighth graders. Now you'll see I have here module one outline. So think of module as unit. Everything with module one was for forces in motion. Then I would break it down even shorter because we don't want the modules to be so long that it's hard for students to navigate. Having a chunk instead of the endless scroll of one module it just confuses our students. What I did is I titled my module, you can see here, module one, lesson one, describing motion. So the first lesson is all about describing motion as we get into learning about the forces of motion. So then I would label, we had a warm up in class. If I did balloon rockets, let's say the first week, and then we had another warm up, car on a ramp, that was the following week. So all of my warm ups would go under here. Then we would have our in-class lesson presentation. So we do like notes in class that I would include here. And again, this was over the span of like a week and a half. And you can see like I labeled them M1, L1. This gives me flexibility to we're gonna have two sets of notes. I know under this header of lesson presentations, I can first publish this one into the next week. I can publish the next one. Then we have basically all of the lesson one 
assignments or really like student kind of led activities. That would include, my, my, my formula for science was the same. So I'd have like a prior knowledge evaluation, which is just a fancy way of saying a pre-assessment. Then I would do a reading guide, some sort of interactive notebook, and then the activities. So this module only had one activity and then a self-assessment and then always ending with a summative. Setting it up this way gave me so much flexibility because I wasn't, I didn't have to fit inside of the week module. I didn't have to create nearly as many modules either. You'll see like chunking it down for students makes it easier for them to navigate and also feel more accomplished because they're not having to complete a miles long worth of content. And they're also not endlessly scrolling to find the next thing. I know that like, I know Canvas will auto save for students where they left off and like scroll all the way where they need to be. But sometimes they didn't quite catch on to that feature and just kind of ending up in the wrong place. The last thing I'll show you is how I incorporated like a station rotation or a project. We'll minimize that module one lesson three, module one lesson four, module one lesson five. Hopefully it's starting to make sense. And again, you'll see I have all of my appropriate labels. But then we got to a part in the course where we needed to do a project. So what I would do is I created a project module. So we'd have the introduction, defining the problem, background research, all the different like steps, right? And I turned these into, cause those are group projects. So I would turn these into group assignments. If you want more information on that, let me know in the comments below. And uh, then honestly ending it with the project submission. So very easy to just pop honestly in a like a project module or a station rotation module like this. And again, if you were doing it by week, having a dedicated module or space for a project becomes a little more tricky, which is why I moved away from the weeks and did more so the units and lessons route. I just wanted to show you what that looked like since I have given you guys a lot of like station rotation and choice board activities and how I use those. But again, you do what's best for you. This is just an example of what worked for me and my grade level and subject. So that's essentially how I do it. If you have a different way that works for you, I would love to hear how you organize your modules in the comments below. Feel free to do that. And what's nice is then other people can see it and get maybe some inspiration from your comment also. If you found this video helpful, I would greatly appreciate it. If you would like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel because I got a lot more Canvas tips and tricks coming your way. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye.